What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you this epic guide on farming this week's nightfall for the exclusive weapon being the duty band auto rifle. But hey people, before we get into that, do you want to win a fully customizable controller? If so, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and enter the giveaway via the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description. Simple, easy and legit. Good luck you sexy bastards. Okay, so this week's Nightfall is the Savathun Song. His exclusive reward, which is extremely rare, is the Duty Band Auto Rifle, as you can see on the screen now. Looking great. Thing is, Farmable Nightfalls ain't what they used to be. If you guys remember the Omnigal days within Destiny 1, farming for that Grasp of Malak, what we have now is a million miles from that. So guides like this are a rarity, but remember they won't ever be as easy as they once were. Now we all know Bungie State and there's a higher chance of the Nightfall exclusive dropping from the Prestige modes. So today's guide will be for Prestige mode only. I mean it could possibly work in a normal version, but because we can't apply our own burns, plus there is a higher drop rate in Prestige, so Bungie say we may as well go with Prestige mode, as it is damn simple. So first up, you will need to have a challenge card, the Five of Souls. These are brought from Zer, so make sure you have one. So upon picking the Savathun Song Nightfall, Prestige version, go into your inventory and edit the challenge card accordingly. Today I will give you the two fastest ways you can do this, but using this method you can create your own strat too quite easily. So for the first strat you want to use that Avoid Singe along with Heavy Weight. For this strat you will need at least two Warlocks using Nova Bombs. One must be using the Lunar Faction Boots as well. Weapons I will discuss in a second. Other class can be anything, in fact if you want to use a Titan as a third, make sure he has on that Rally Barricade, and the Lunar Faction Boots for the Warlock won't be needed as badly. The other way you can do this is by using different burns, using Solar Singe instead of Void Singe along with Heavyweight. Using Solar you will need two Hunters using Golden Gun and Celestial Nighthawk. Third character here needs to be a Warlock using those Lunar Faction Boots, or a Titan using that Rally Barricade. Okay so on to weapons, now weapons are up to you besides the Heavy. Within that Heavy slot for both Void and Solar Challenge card setups for the Nightfall, the Heavy weapon needs to be one of the game's fully auto shotguns. Odds are you will have one of the three I can think of, but there may be more. We have the Icolus SG, we have the Perfect Paradox, and we have the Hawthorns Field Forge Shotgun. Now obviously the burn on these needs to match whichever Nightfall burn scenes you go with. So if it's Solar, make sure you got a Solar burn on your shotgun. If it's Void, make sure it's a Void burn. So load up the Nightfall and get through it as fast as possible. You can get through it quite easily in about 5 or 10 minutes depending on how used to the Nightfall you actually are. But when you're at the boss, this is what you need to do. Go to the right hand side of the room and jump onto this rock right here. All three of you need to do this. For this instance we will be using the solar modifier. So what you want to do is shoot the crystal so you start the encounter. Golden Gunners with your fully charged supers and um, celestial nighthawks. Pop them bitches and shoot the boss. Warlock then needs to drop his rift or if it's a titan drop that rally barricade. Obviously pointing towards where the boss spawns on the right hand side. So yes when you shoot the boss from his initial starting point he does teleport to the right of the room which will be right next to you. You then need to switch to them heavy shotguns and pummel the bitch. Simple as that. Because you are in a rift or behind a rally barricade you won't need to reload and the boss will die almost immediately. Using the Void Singe, the same rules apply. Just fire Nova Bombs at the boss to make him teleport to the right hand side of the room. Drop your Rally Barricade or drop your Rift. And do the same with the shotguns. You will kill the boss almost instantly. It is crazy. Now this strat is to get the boss killed as quick as possible so you can farm it more efficiently. But the method is getting him to teleport as fast as you can. But if you ain't fussed about doing it in like 10 seconds, you can really use any method you want in getting him to teleport to the right hand side of the room. I mean you can use almost any weapon but you are at risk of being shot by the boss and if that void singe is on I don't really recommend that. But yeah guys this strat works wonders and if you are looking for a guide on farming the duty band this is it. So good luck in trying to get it. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. A big thanks to Dark Armed Games for the info and the strat. So big shout out to him. But I am out people. If you enjoyed the video and it helped you out leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people I will see you on that next one Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I will carry on You never 
getting right. 